Well, I'm pretty excited because the bottom line is that that uh, B-17 pilot, if it hadn't been for people like the Tuskegee Airmen uh, to protect me, uh, I would uh, be someplace. Uh, what's left of me in the in the uh, ocean or in the uh, Dolomite Alps. So uh, this is very special. Uh, the Tuskegee Airmen protected me. Uh, they couldn't do anything about the flak, couldn't do anything about the weather, but they sure kept the Messerschmitts and the Focke-Wolfs off my rear. And uh, I'm here to pay homage to them and to a special friend, uh, John Lear, that uh, I've met and, and we've become very close friends uh, for the last 12 years and my life's been enriched by having him as a friend. In spite of segregation, that these Tuskegee Airmen, with dignity and professionalism, they, they fought the enemy, risked their lives, a lot of them lost their lives, to protect our country and to protect bomber pilots like me. So they certainly should have all of the credit and, and, uh, and everybody is, is, all of a sudden it's all come to, it's all come to what it should come about serving our country during that time and just uh, what that was like. Talk about serving our country at that time and, and what that was like. It, it's not easy to talk about it sometimes. You know, I think of the times that I was abused and I'll never forget a time I was in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, in Alabama. Birmingham, I've been near Birmingham, and I was pulled over by the side of the street some kite, and a cop pulled me over, I was driving or something, and he said, where you going or something? And I told him, I'm an officer of the United States Army Air Corps. Pulled out his gun and said, say another word, I'll blow you out. And it isn't easy to think back. You're risking your life and have somebody tell you, Bill, you got just to say another word to him. I know that, that hurt you for a long time. It's in my brain and part of me, it'll be a part of me as long as I'm on this earth.